my worst moment that I ever felt was the first Christmas I spent in Canada because I was homesick and nobody looked because you couldn't talk to people who weren't homesick. They didn't know what you're talking about. You don't realize what family life is all about until you leave it. And that's what I learned. But it passes and it, you, you go on. I could have willingly got onto a bus and gone home any second. Couldn't. Took $1,000 to get on a plane again. And the worst thing about looking back at those times, which I thought, I really was very, very homesick, and I, and I was, was the fact that I didn't realize that John also must have been homesick, my husband. And it didn't enter my head that he could have felt the same way because he didn't say anything. He just got on and he was looking for jobs and getting himself together. What got me through this was the birth of my daughter. And that eased it, eased it. I still, when it was Christmas time, thought of my rowdy, boozy family. <laughs> and they weren't like that over here. They were all very nice. I'm not saying no, anybody was bad. And then slowly, he got used to the cold and the weather and the snow and, and having a baby. And, and I thought it was wonderful because got a girl. And I used to perm my hair and do all kinds of things to him. We wear the same dresses and all that shit. And finally, he off. got a job then. I got my own family. Yes, absolutely. And now I've got the most gorgeous grandchildren and great-grandchildren. And it's home. I wouldn't want to go home now. They wouldn't be there.